All right, guys. Now it has been um, a couple of days since uh, um, I disassembled uh, the Lee infield over there, um, and I'm trying to figure out um, how to uh, gently remove the stock because the bolt is stuck in there, and I don't use don't want to use too much force that might damage anything, and uh, just keep soaking it with oil and see what that pays off. Um, but uh, meanwhile, I'm going to talk about the wood here, and uh, I'm just picking up these two pieces as a, an example. Um, this one here uh, seems to be blistered. Uh, so it was exposed to high heat of some sort, and that shine, all that is cosmoline. Because I believe, well, this is not an example. Um, this here would be uh, this what the original would look like on the outside before it was covered in cosmoline now this upper handguard piece here is also uh, blistered in some areas and uh, just to prove my point of how much cosmoline on this thing um, I'm just gonna heat it up and just let you watch the All, all of that uh, needs to be um, wiped away and removed um, if we have any chance of um, getting a decent finish to stick on this. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually scrape it and I'm going to do these two pieces as an example and uh, the longer piece of the stock. Um, it's going to be treated just the same uh, but just doing this as a demonstration of my method um, I'm gonna be scraping it first and then I'm going to steam it or heat it up and mop away uh, whatever comes out until we get down to the bottom bare wood so here it goes
right, this is what I got so far. Um, looks a lot better. Uh, now, for y'all that are new to this, this is not wood chips. Um, this is what leftover Cosmoline. I don't know. Uh, some of the old finish uh, looks like. Um, I haven't even got into the wood. This would, would gum up your sandpaper if you just start sanding uh, right away. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to heat it and mop up um, as much oil out of this wood as I can uh, before starting to sand it and reforming it. So, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this lapse. definitely looks much better and we have discovered a crack here uh, it doesn't go all the way through but it's definitely a visible split let's see how we can repair that other than that, um, doing another experiment with the um, other small piece uh, and see if we can extract more uh, oil and cosmoline out of it and I'll keep you updated on that as well. Alright guys, this is what this... Uh, piece look like after introducing it to steam I'm talking like heavy steam and all this cosmoline has um, been brought to the surface and I'm just going to cart it away I already did it in this side with the scraper and it seems like it's lifting more And the, the wood actually feels like it's dry, um, it doesn't feel like it's heavily coated with oil. Right. <clears throat> let me know your thoughts um, this is definitely not the final um, product um, I'm going over it with the sander but I think this is as much 
Cosmoline as we can get out of it for now. I am planning on completely um, refinishing this, um, the, the whole stock and sanding it and forming it um, for better fit and finish. I don't know about you, uh, the collective value of this rifle has been diminished a long time ago and definitely I would love to hear your thoughts, but um, give me suggestions. What should I do? Should I finish it dark or should I leave it blonde like it originally was? Or, well, I'm not going to leave it on because that's, I'm learning and that's why I'm doing this. Let me know what you want to see done. Alright, another final look on it. Um, I'm not too worried about what it looks in here. Um, it's already been soaked in oil and preserved and it's going to be out of sight, out of mind. But I'm going to do the same treatment to the upper handguard as well. Um, um, these areas here in the corners, they're fragile and I don't want to apply too much force on a hundred year old piece of wood. Um, I can see already some signs of splitting right there. I'll get that taken care of, but um, the steam definitely uh, help bring all that and hardens it on the outside so it will be scraped off so that's a new trick I don't know let me know if I'm ruining the wood or anything like that um, I believe it's working um, the wood is dry it doesn't feel like it's damp or it's been soaked in water or anything like that it feels like a dry piece of wood um, so this is it um, for this time and let me know what you want to see next. Um, the metal, if you want to see that, I'll definitely be recording it. Just let me know if there's any specific part that you want me to pay attention to or highlight in the next video. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much.